Here we have a Lenovo E540. I'm going to open up and explore the insides. Before you start moving around, put the laptop on something soft so you don't scratch the laptop while you're moving it around. So we're going to flip to the back. As you see, I already have the battery removed. If you haven't, remove it. We're going to remove this panel first with one screw. This reveals the wireless card and the screw stays on that panel. So Now there's three screws holding the next panel down. The next panel will reveal everything. RAM, hard drive, graphic card, fan and CPU. That's the wireless card, that's the fan, that's the graphic card, that's a removable CPU, that's, probably that's hard drive, and that one. And that's M.2 stop. We need to remove four screws holding the hard drive down to remove the hard drive. There's a plastic tab in front, you just need to pull the tab, pull the tab towards you to release the hard drive. Now to remove the RAM, you pinch the two sides and it tilts up and you just remove it. Now we're going to remove all of the screws on the back cover to remove it. And there's this tab here, you might not be able to see. This tab is important. You need to push this tab out. It's covered by your battery. You probably can't see it. It's a bit hard, but try to see it. You need to remove you need to release this tab so you can remove the keyboard surrounding. I'm just showing again, you push it in, push it out. There's nothing holding it down. These are the screws that we have to remove to release the front, the, where the keyboard is, the keyboard surround is. These screws are holding the keyboard surround on. I've got to remove the DVD drive. Try to remove the DVD drive first before you get started. There's only one screw holding the DVD drive down. 
remove that and just pull out the DVD drive. By, after removing the DVD drive, there's actually three screws behind the DVD drive. You also need to remove this to remove the keyboard surround. So now we have removed all the screws, we need to flip it over to the other side, open up and look at the keyboard. This part is extremely tricky. You need to probably watch this a few times before you understand it. So where I'm pointing, there's a, a tab, you probably can't see it. It's a little indent. You can see this one. There's three of them along the keyboard. The idea of it is to get a screwdriver and push it towards the LCD screen. So we get a Phillips head screwdriver and you just drag it, just push it down a bit and you'll see um, the plastic at the back of the key, um, the keys will start to move back start to shift backwards and it will expose four screwdrivers, four screws that stay on the keyboard when you unscrew them. Just take it slowly, don't push too hard as you might damage your keyboard. And here you go, There's you can't see the screws but there's actually screws where I'm pointing where my screwdriver is. You'll need a really small screwdriver for this and the screws stay on the keyboard so you don't it doesn't drop off Now we have removed it, you lift the keyboard up from the back first, and then slide it. So to put it back in, you're going to have to slide it the same way, you slide the top part in first, and there's some cables underneath the keyboard, so don't drag it too far. When you put back the keyboard, remember to slide the top part in first, where it goes into the monitor first. So we need to remove two tabs to remove the keyboard. There's two tabs, there's um, one for the keys, and the other tab is for the red dot mouse nipple thing. There's a few screws we have to remove. There should be five or six screws that we have to remove before we can remove the keyboards around. There's actually two types of screws here. On the DVD drive, the screws are longer, and on the black part, the screws are actually shorter. So don't get confused about your screws when you put it back on, as you'll probably piece through the motherboard, or do something bad.
So now we have removed all the screws. It's easier to start off where the DD drive is, it gives you room to hold. And now we just have to pry it open. And that's about it. So that's the sound bar, that's where sound comes out from. This is behind the CPU and that's behind the graphic card. And that's about it. Remember, there's a few different types of screws for this. Remember, don't get the wrong screw in the wrong place. Also, remember that tab behind the battery, as it's really important. And also, the keyboard is going to be a bit hard, but try a few times and you'll be fine. And that's it. Thanks for watching.